welcome. <laughs> Comfort and grace. Home. Home. <laughs> we are over at Jen's house today, yes. and we have our superstar, Autumn, who just, <laughs> I mean, he, she has got to be... Center of attention. Center of attention. Yes. Um, she wants her own channel, so... <laughs> anyway, um, today is Friday, if you're watching this when we're filming. Um, <laughs> actually, it's really Thursday we're filming. Actually, to post on Friday. Yes. Just, anyway. We're pretending. We're pretending. We're pretending it's Friday because we are going to start a new segment called Favorite Things Friday. And it was actually Jen's brilliant idea the other day. Um, we, I used to blog at Nighttime Decorator and um, that was something I used to do on Fridays. And it was just like a handful of things that I was really loving at the time. Things that were like working for our family or, uh, I mean it was anything from clothes to household items to books to just like practices right. that we bought this um, and you got to try it or right exactly like we tried this and it worked really yeah well. so yeah. we thought that would be fun to try out here so we're always getting excited about things that we want to just like you know tell the world like you got to try this because when it's working for you and you think it would be helpful for others you just want to share these things yeah. so we are going to share a few things with you guys today Favorite and things. we are going to start with Swedish dishcloths okay <laughs> so I have recently given up buying paper towels. This is shocking. And I want to okay. show the big thing of paper towels that I just <laughs> put in the basement from Sam's Club. <laughs> it, I'm so... I can't do it. <laughs> I was so intrigued when I saw one of my favorite bloggers, um, influencers, Brooke over at Nesting with Grace. She was talking about how she gave up paper towels and I thought, I never thought that was even like possible to give up paper towels. And I was like, Oh my gosh, maybe we could do that because we go through so many paper towels in my house and they're so such a pain to buy because you yeah. buy this big thing, it takes up your whole cart, yeah. they're expensive. I was like, what if we could get away with it? So we have been doing it for about a month and a half now. We have not bought paper towels and these are what are saving us. These are Swedish dishcloths. We'll link up everything, um, get them on Amazon or wherever. And they, once they get wet, they're just like a washcloth. It's kind of like if a washcloth and a paper towel <laughs> and a sponge kind of all made one. <laughs> so, and you throw them in the wash, you can throw them in the dishwasher. So you can reuse them over and over and over and over again. And they come in like a pack of six for like 12 bucks or something. And you can use them for a really long time. I don't know exactly how long I'd have to do my research, but <laughs> it's all in the description. On at the, least a month and a half. At, at least, at least. <laughs> So I am high and they dry pretty quickly. So what we do is we just kind of keep it out like draped over our sink. And anytime we would grab a paper towel to like wipe up a little thing, we grab our little washcloth. And because once it gets wet, it gets like a regular washcloth. It's yeah. not like stiff like this. Yeah. And, and then we just rinse it out, drape it again over the sink. And then like all the time I throw it in the wash. I mean, I do laundry every day pretty much and, or, throw it in the dishwasher every day. So they stay clean and you can reuse them. So that is how we have survived without paper towels, you guys. I will say, just so you don't think I'm totally bad, <laughs> we have reduced how much paper towels yes, we use. exactly. We use hand cloths and yes. we have microfiber cloths, which are another option yes. that I could show sometime. Yep. Um, but yeah, anything yes. like that, we it does cut down mm -hmm. immensely on the yeah. paper towel usage. I'm not going to say so. it was like a super easy transition because yeah. like, you know, there were times where like, I need a paper towel. And you know what I think I might actually do is like keep like a roll like under the sink for uh -huh. emergency stuff. Yeah. You know, yeah, sometimes you just, just like sometimes you just kind of need a paper towel. Yeah, but or you don't want to ruin those. Right. Like, exactly. Yeah. Sometimes I, I actually have, have the other day. And yes. Because I'm always painting. Right. And, so. Yeah. yeah I, I have thrown out like rags, yeah. old rags, like when they just, it was too gross. So. Anyway, that's one item. That's Swedish dishcloths. Okay, Jen? and then um, this is one thing that I actually tried to influence Liz when she came over <laughs> a couple weeks ago. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Hopefully, you can see it good. But this is a shark um, vac mop, and the story Autumn does not like this. Yes, thing. Autumn does not like vacuum cleaners at all. So when I if I turn it on to show you, um, I don't know if I should show you how it works. But anyway, just take my word for it that it um, is revolutionary. I've always had a hard time finding like a particularly like a stick vac yeah. that is light that I can just keep yeah. like instead of dragging out the big vacuum mm -hmm. cleaner 
or moving it from floor to floor or whatever. Yeah. And my parents actually bought me this when I, I mentioned before I was having really bad back problems, spinal cord problems. And so um, they had bought one and I think they had gotten one for a gift for my sister-in-law and said they both loved it. And they thought, well, this will be good for you because the kids can use it or, you know, it won't be as stressful on your back as pushing yeah. a big vacuum cleaner or moving yeah, it, lugging it. Super it's super light. I mean, it's super light. Yeah, but it works super well, like for dog fur, for spills in the kitchen. And the cool thing is, is that um, it has these, so it comes with these, you buy these and um, it just snaps on to the bottom. And so what happens is it works as a, it's kind of hard to hold, it. it's supposed to be on the floor. <laughs> So you actually just, you don't have to touch it, but it just snaps on. Yeah, I know you don't like it. Um, but it's okay. a, a vacuum and a mop. So you press the button, you turn it on, and it, it vacuums, but then it has the spray. spray part it's, on. Okay. it's okay. It's okay. I'll it's put okay. it down. Um, it's got a spray part. And so, Autumn, she really does not like vacuums. Um, she is looking at that. Um, but anyway, it is great. Like it, I have a hard time with the stick backs. I find that either yeah. they don't keep the charge or they don't really suck things up very well. Yeah. Autumn, okay, that's enough. Um, or keep talking. <laughs> um, or you know, just any number of problems. I've just never found one that I love. But yeah. this one, it keeps the charge well. It picks up stuff really well. Um, so it actually once those the the mop has little compartments and it'll vacuum everything up and then you just dispose it. Yeah. So I go through one probably like once a day just because I have a dog and she sheds a lot. Right. Um, and I'm vacuuming like a couple of times a day at least like before after meals yeah. and you know just a couple of times throughout the day because we have dark floors and a light dog and not a good match. But it works really well and that's what's nice because I can just grab it and clean up you know mm -hmm. little spot clean yeah. areas I'm and then go um, those. it's got the, the mop built into it so it does both things so you don't have to have two you know a mop and a vacuum yeah um so it works really really well um it was a gift so i don't think it was terribly expensive though but um i will look it up and link it for you um but it's definitely worth the investment yeah and i think shark makes good product i think you i have, have a shark rocket. vacuum that mm -hmm. that you like too and yeah. i had a sh my, my other vacuum is a shark which i love yeah. too um so I feel like they make good vacuums, mm -hmm. but um, this particular is one I really wanted to share because it's it's been great. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. And now I'm gonna see if I can lift this guy up. This is another favorite thing, you guys. I wonder if they can see it. Let me go peek. <laughs> you want to go peek behind the camera? <laughs> We are so professional. Yes, so you can see it. Okay, guys, this is my favorite record player. Oh, well, it's my only record player, <laughs> but I love this thing. We got this. Um, if it wasn't her only one, it would be her favorite. So. <laughs> I love it. We have recently really gotten into records, and um, our daughter has a smaller one in her room, and she loves her records, and we go shopping at a local place um, on our main street. And um, In fact, we're going today. Reese asked if we could go to, to, uh, to go look at vinyl. So anyway, it's really fun. And not only though is it a record player, it's also a Bluetooth, it's a radio, so we can hook up our Spotify and just like listen to like old school like albums and yeah. like the kids think it's so fun to like turn the dial to the radio, <laughs> yeah. you know, and I don't know, anything that kind of like takes you back in time, I'm always like in think it's you know just kind of fun to have so yeah so you can listen to your your playlists your records the radio um is there anything else on there on the little um, dial that i'm missing <laughs> i don't think so i think that's all bluetooth auxiliary yeah yeah so anyway i have we our family has really enjoyed having a record player in the family room and um so looks super cute yeah it because, looks super cute yeah. i love it so Anyway, that is certainly a favorite thing. Piece. Good, it, it has been. <laughs> yeah. When you know friends and family come over, they're like record player. That's so cool. Yeah. So, anyway, we'll link this up. Yes. And what is our final our favorite final thing, thing, Jennifer? Um, we actually both have. Yes. Have it. Um, but in I guess a couple, I guess it was about a month ago, we did the coffee and conversation. Yeah. And one of the comments we got was, could you um, share a devotional or books that you mm -hmm. are reading? Um, and I'll say, you know. The most important thing is always the Bible. You know, that's that's yeah. always um, first and foremost. That's what you need to be reading if you want to work on your faith and um, that sort of thing. But um, this 
devotional was one when I was going through the difficult time um, with anxiety. My mom, um, who's very strong in her Christian faith too, and leads a Bible study. Our moms are yeah, together. Yeah, our moms together. together. <laughs> um, she sent me this and just kind of surprised me with it. And I'll just tell you, like, it's it's a dated devotional, so um, it goes through the whole year. Um, it's got a devotional for every day. Um, it just spoke to me, like the what I needed to hear at the yeah. moment. It just it. You know, it yeah. just met my needs, yeah. and so I don't know how that that happens. Like, I know just... I've I've re read so many devotionals over the years, but yes. this has been my favorite. Yeah, of all. Yeah, it, just it really to... does just speak to you on the day you need to read right. that exact thing. Right. I don't know how it does it. Yeah. So there's a the way it is. It's it's um put by day, and then there's a Bible verse, and then just a little writing to kind of that talks about the Bible verse and. Um, goes a little bit more in depth just to kind of get you thinking and then there's a little quote at the bottom from some um, really amazing Christians, Christian authors and different people, a lot of people from history um, and so it's kind of you know it not only gives you something to think about for the day but a lot of times I'll go back and it kind of spurs me on to what I should read in the Bible. Yeah. So I think that's part of the problem. Mm -hmm. People don't know, okay well the Bible's so big, what do I right. read? Um, right. And so a lot of times I'll read what it says which is great and then I'll go back and kind of read more of the passage that it has the, the verse um, from, just yeah. to kind of give myself, you know, spur me on to yeah. read some more. Um, and I loved it so much that when we were having a conversation, um, that conversation that we shared also in the com Coffee and Conversation mm -hmm. um, YouTube video, um, I decided, yeah, I should send this to Liz too because it's been so special to me. Yeah. And she just... Um, April 13th, I have a little note <laughs> from <Yeah>. you. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so I shared it. I think you shared it on our Instagram Yeah, or on something. our story yeah. one day. I was like, it's just so good, guys. Check this out. I yeah. bought it for my mom for Mother's Day yeah. as a little thing because she loves her devotionals. Um, it's just a really good one. Yeah. It's just, by Chris T. Green. Is it T. Green? T. Green. T. Green. I'm not really Tiger. sure. But we'll link yeah. it up. I think it's, yeah. We will link one it up. One year praying and faith devotional. So, yeah, we'll in link fact, it up. Um, just a couple days ago, I was talking about the fire and the flood, that one. Mm -hmm. Like, I brought it up to, like, my daughter and my other daughter, like at different points, like during the day, they were like doing something, uh -huh. going through something. And I was like, guys, wait one second. I grabbed it. I read yeah. it to them. It was like perfect for them too. Yeah. You know, just to read something, just as a reminder. Yep. You know, when you're going through things and it was just, it's a really good one. Yeah. So, so that's definitely our favorite yes. thing of both of ours. So. And so wonderful to start your day yeah. that way. I've been trying really hard to wake up and not pick up the phone mm -hmm. until I have done this, you know, yeah. just trying to like revamp my habits because, right. you know, it's a much better way to start your day. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. So, so, yeah, so that's another great... Praying in faith is what it's called. Yes. A one-year praying in faith devotional. So. Yeah. So, so, I guess that's about it today. We could talk about lots more, but we're going to save that for our, for another Friday. <laughs> Do you have anything to so, share? <laughs> This dog. I love this dog <laughs> so much. She really does like the camera, I think. She really does. So, anyway, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. If there's anything you're interested in that you want to leave a comment about, that you'd like us to chat about, please feel free to do so. Um, and we just really appreciate you watching, guys. Yeah. Thanks so much. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yes, still do that. Have a great weekend. Yes. <laughs> Bye.